all heard of Slack before. It's a team communication platform that is used to better organize and orchestrate communication through the app's channels. It's widely used by many businesses, individuals, as well as teams. Now, what makes it so excellent is the fact that communication and collaboration is super accessible and it's super easy for anyone to basically get started with. You may wonder, what could elevate this platform even further? Well, the answer is quite simple, with the implementation of AI. Now, how so? Well, you can use AI to automate certain tasks within Slack, which would increase productivity, and it can efficiently help your teams handle certain types of tasks. Today, I'm going to be showcasing how to build an AI Slack assistant with a no-code AI automation platform called VectorShift. VectorShift is something we've seen multiple times on this channel because of how great this platform is in helping anyone create AI automation. With VectorShift, you can basically utilize the drag and drop UI to help you create and generate AI solutions to build AI agents, AI search engines, you have assistants, chatbots, as well as automations, and so much more. This is a tool that we're going to be utilizing throughout today's video to help us create our Slack AI assistant. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So what we're going to be doing is creating an AI Slack assistant. But you may be wondering, what will this assistant be helping us with? Or what sort of use case will it be coming out of it? Well, the system will be acting as an internal search assistant, as well as an AI integrated chatbot within Slack and as an onboarding flow assistant. This is something a lot of users use and it would greatly benefit them, especially with companies with lots of data to hook it all into one spot and to be able to search with it within actually their Slack channels. For example, a large company can use the app to search over sales documentations as there is a lot of documents regarding all their sales products and that want to be able to have their sales reps within their Slack channels to be able to search all their documents and have it so that they can refer to it within Slack itself. And like I said before, to do this, we're going to be utilizing this tool, which is VectorShift. And this is an AI automation platform. I use this multiple times on this channel and I've been able to automate so many different things such as my Gmail. I've been able to automate my data entry as well as creating chatbots for my website. This is the tool that I use for almost everything and I definitely recommend that you try this out. So this is something what I will leave a link to in the description below as well as all the links that I use in today's video there as well. So what you want to do first is go over to the VectorShift's website and I want you guys to get started by clicking on this button over here. Once you click on that button, it'll take you to create your account. So if you do not have an account with VectorShift, you can actually create one with your email address or with your Google account or with GitHub. And once you have created your account, you're going to be then sent over to this pipeline dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your different types of automations that you create. You're going to be able to upload your own knowledge base. You have a marketplace in which you can access. This is something that I'll showcase in a bit. You have different files that you can upload. You have automations that you can manage, chatbots, evaluations, as well as having the ability to track the analytics of your automation. Now, in this case, what we're going to be doing is creating our own pipeline from scratch. This is where you can click on this addition button over here. And then we're going to be creating our first pipeline. You can create this from scratch. But another thing that you can do is you can basically access all of these other automations that have been created. For example, you can automate your Gmail by just taking in this template. But in this case, what we're going to be doing is creating our pipeline from scratch. So we're going to be clicking on this button over here. You'll then be sent over to this drag and drop dashboard. This is the UI for you to basically place in all of these components to build your automation. 
you have various sorts of categories such as general lms these are different nodes that you can place in you have a knowledge base that you can upload different integrations from gmail all the way to slack you have different data loaders multimodal apps you have logic chat and so many other things now, in this case, for our assistant, we're going to be first starting off by placing an input node and an output node, which is foundational for any workflow to be operational. Where queries come in and they are basically outputted within a chatbot or through an automation or through different integrations. Next, we're going to be placing in a large language model node. Now, you can choose from all of these different sources, even open source, where you can basically connect your own open source model. In this case, I'm going to be using an Anthropic Sonnet 3.5 model. The reason why is because this is something that is really good at basically analyzing as well as having the best sort of ability to source through large amounts of data and providing the best relevant information at a cheaper cost. I will also be placing a chat memory for semantic memory as well as a knowledge base reader. This is where I'm going to be placing in this node over here so that we can have it so that the AI will reference our knowledge base. And to create your own knowledge base, you can just simply click on this button. You can then name it whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to create a knowledge base for World of AI, World of AI, my YouTube channel, and I'm going to click on create. Now, what you can do afterwards is you can add documents as well as knowledge base. This is where you can choose to upload files. You can add different sorts of integrations. You can even scrape what URLs. This is basically recursive. So meaning that if I am to provide my Patreon page, it's going to recursively follow through by having it scrape the information on this website on a minutely basis, hourly, or even a monthly. So this is something that you can integrate within uh, the vector shifts knowledge base you can also create folders but in this case i'm going to add my integrations you can click on this and you can add it through connecting it with different type forms gmail you can connect various other types of applications which you can see over here and after i have added my knowledge base as well as like the documents urls that are needed you can then basically select the knowledge base that you have just created which is world of ai and now what i'm going to be doing is linking everything together so I went along and I provided the Anthropic LM node a system prompt. And basically I told it that you're an internal AI search engine. You answer questions based on the context and when relevant, use history as well. You answer the questions in a concisely manner. And it's basically going to utilize the knowledge base as well as the chat memory to help us get the answers. So after giving it a system prompt, I then provided all the variables. And this is basically essential to connect all these nodes. So initially you only had one node, it was just called variable. To add these variables, I basically named it so that the chat history will be linked or the chat memory will be linked to the history. I added one for context and just to showcase how you can do this, you basically type in what you want to basically connect. So in this case, if I want to connect the knowledge base, I name it as context and then I can click in enter and see this button over here which is the insert variable button you click on this and then you can rename it to context for example and this way you can basically connect all of these nodes together so now that i have this connected i can then have it connected to this knowledge base but since we already have a context we don't need to work with this and we have our workflow finally operational so now that we have created our assistant we just need to deploy this within slack to do so, you just need to click on this button over here to deploy changes, and then you want to click on export pipeline. You can export this as an automation, but in this case, we're going to be exporting it as a chatbot. So click on chatbot, give it a name, Slack Assistant, and then what you want to do is just create the chatbot. Here, you can basically edit your chatbot configuration, such as changing the variance of the color, adding a system prompt, a message prompt, a welcome header, these are things that you would use if you're going to be exporting the chatbot itself. This is something that you would probably do if you're going to be having this chatbot used as an external application or chatbot itself. But since we're going to be utilizing this within Slack, you want to click on the export button and you want to connect this with Slack. You want to click on this and connect your account so that we can then proceed with the next step of this video where we deploy this AI assistant within Slack. And once you have connected your account, you can then deploy it to Slack by clicking on this button over here. And once that is done, open up your Slack and then you want to basically click on add applications. You'll see VectorShift over here already added. So then you can click on this 
head over to messages and you can start interacting with this. And this is where I actually provided different links such as my Patreon, my Twitter, as well as my URL for my YouTube channel. So I can basically ask you questions within Slack. What is world of AI? I can send this in and within a couple of seconds, we'll get an answer from VectorChef stating that world of AI is blah, blah, blah. And it tells me that from the Patreon page, it states world of AI indicates that it's a community for AI enthusiasts enthusiasts and it's a youtube channel focused on the topic of ai and there you go this is where we have now integrated an ai search assistant within slack itself you can deploy this to, with your teams you can deploy this within your slack channel so that you can start chatting with different sorts of documents large amounts of data and getting precise answers by utilizing natural language processing with the help of vector shift and that's basically it for today's video. This is how you can deploy an AI Slack assistant. And that's by creating it with an automation platform like VectorShift. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you take a look at VectorShift with the link in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon because it's a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.